if you're interested in how people get to be the way they are, um, adolescence is such an important time. We really become the person that we're going to be probably for the rest of our lives. I'm a developmental psychologist. I specialize in adolescence. Um, so I teach and do research on the second decade of the lifespan. Um, and my research right now focuses on how adolescents make decisions, especially in terms of how they make decisions about risk taking. The systems of the brain that respond to reward become very easily aroused. So things that feel good feel even better. Um, and for that reason, people are very attracted to go after rewarding experiences, even if they might be a little bit dangerous. So that kind of impels kids toward risky behaviors. A lot of my interest in adolescent risk-taking and decision-making grew out of a project I was involved in that, it, it, that looked at juvenile justice policy and practice. And during the last decade, the U.S. Supreme Court has considered three landmark cases involving juvenile crime, um, probably the most important of which was um, a, a case involving the constitutionality of the juvenile death penalty. We were really delighted to see that, that our work was cited by the court um, in its opinions that banned the juvenile death penalty and that placed limits on the use of life without parole um, as a sentence for juveniles. Adolescents are different from adults in ways that make them less responsible for their behavior. They're more impulsive, they're more short-sighted, they're more easily influenced by their peers. So we developed a, a video driving game that we call Stoplight, where you're trying to get someplace in a hurry, you approach an intersection, the light turns yellow, and you make a decision about whether you're gonna to try to run it or not. So we can take this task into the MRI and have people play this game while we're capturing brain images. Um, and what we have found is, first, adolescents take many more risks when they're doing this task in front of their friends than when they're doing it by themselves. I'm good, man. Good luck in there. We're going to be watching you. But second, when adolescents are doing the driving game, playing stoplight, with their friends watching, parts of their brain that get excited by the prospect of a reward are lighting up. They're being activated. And we have shown that the extent to which the brain lights up during this task predicts how much risk taking you engage in. So if we could get kids to stop doing things that put themselves um, in jeopardy, we could really improve the health of American young people.